Jimmy Gang, Jimmy Gang, Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy, the Unstoppable. Welcome back, my boys. Hope everybody feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. Happy Friday, man. Listen, we back in St. Louis with it today, man. We was in Missouri with it. We all in the South, my boys. We in St. Louis with it today, though. St. Louis rapper and his daughter body after making a diss song. What? Like, see, I, that's what I hate, bro. When niggas beef, like, when niggas beefing, get the kids involved and the kids end up getting hurt. Like, why you couldn't just take the op out? Why you gotta leave a little girl out of it, nigga? But you know what, man? That's what niggas do. I digress. That's what niggas choose to do, man. Let's get into the story. As you can see, it's a nasty one, man. Get your little spliffies, whatever it is you need, man. As you can see, your boy is ready. I got mine, man. Let's get right into this video. Shout out to the family too. The mama she get it too. Who were killed last night in the Central West End? Police have now identified the little girl as Damia Fleming. They have not identified the man. They don't know how she is related to the man. The two were found in a parked car on Laclede Avenue last night around 8 o'clock. She's the second child to die from gun violence in the city since the start of the year. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at the number on the screen, 866. And if you hear that, bro, this right here, this situation we're talking about is the second incident where a child passed away due to gunfire in the last year. I don't know how long ago this incident took place, but bro, no no kids should be dying due to gunfire, bro. They didn't pick up a gun. They didn't go pick up a stick. We Adults, us niggas who picking up these sticks got to do better, bro. Make sure they not aim towards no kids. Know what you shooting at. I told y'all niggas, go to target practice, man. Three, seven, one, six. Well, I'll let you see a little girl. Uh, you can't touch her. You can't take her picture, you can't do anything. And they said, well, her heart stopped. Uh, we tried to revive her, we did CPR, we did everything we could, but it just didn't work. So I'm like, okay. And I walked down this hall and I looked to the left and I see my granddaughter laying in the bed. Covered up with a sheet, just from the you know from the neck down, mm. and I I just looked and I saw and my heart stopped. Her grandma freaked out. She screamed and she fell on the floor. She kept trying to get to her, and I just looked and I just looked because I wanted to see her, you know, see her face. Her eyes were open. open. <laughs> She can't even, look, moms can't even get it out, bro. You hear this, man? <coughs> That's, listen, she's traumatized, bro. She saw this. She watched this happen, bro. She watched the little girl eyes roll to the back of her head. That's her daughter, her baby girl, bro. Nasty, man. Rest in peace to that little girl, brother. And I just kept, I kept rubbing her leg and I said, ready, sir? Word to my mother, bro. Word to my mother, bro, I don't even know. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I'm out here in, in a shootout. I'm blicking off at random niggas, bro, and I accidentally hit a kid, bro. I don't know what. That's why I don't just be on some random, bro. I make sure if something leaving this, if something leaving this Glock, bro, it's for a reason, bro. And I know where it's going. I know I'm sending it. For real, bro. Like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm here. I'm like, come on, wake up. I'm like, come on, I'm here to get you. My son writes music, has videos, and I used to be like... Come on, let's get it together. God has a purpose for you. I always say, God has a purpose for you. God has a purpose for your life. A man has been arrested and charged in connection with a shooting that killed a seven-year-old girl in St. Louis in January. It happened in the Central West End on McLeod Avenue. The girl... Seven years old is crazy. Seven years old is crazy, bro. A seven-year-old baby girl lost her life to some stupid niggas. That's beefing probably about nothing. Beefing about a, a random joint, a random thot in the hood that everybody done got a piece of. Everybody done slid up in. That's what most of the time niggas be beefing over, bro. Let's keep it a bit. Nine times out of ten, it's over some box, my nigga. It's over some box, nigga. No cap. Demaya Fleming was in the car with her father, Darian Fleming, 
when they were both shot and killed. Javon Nettles is now... I mean, rest in peace to the father too, bro. Like, rest in peace to the father. I'm just saying though, bro, if this is an op war, bro, we know how that go. We know how that go. One of the, one side gonna pass away or y'all both gonna body each other, nigga, either way. <coughs> but the little girl shouldn't have had, to have nothing to do with that, bro. In my opinion. First degree murder. Court documents show Nettles and Fleming knew each other, but didn't say why the two were meeting up that night. What is this weight like for you um, as a mother, as a grandmother, feeling this pain? I mean, it's a... It's, it's like it's a he it's heavy. It's very heavy. Um, nah, bro. Cause this is what I be thinking about, bro. I got a niece, bro. I got a niece. My niece is eight, bro. She be nine, bro. Seven years old. I got actually. I got a, a few nieces. If we count with all my homies' daughters, bro. I got a few nieces, bro. I don't want to see none of them go. Bro, I can't think about that, bro, because I know how we riding. We riding. If something like that happening, we don't care about no mistakes, no accidents, nigga. We on your ass. You feel me? Like, it's no excuses for that. And I know how I would feel, bro. So I just put myself in this position when I hear this. Because these is real families, bro. These stories we reacting to that I'm telling you, we giving, we giving up these, these is real stories, bro. These real people, real families, man. Put yourself in these shoes when we, when we talk about these situations, bro. That's why I get like this, bro. It's like a, a wound. Somebody just keeps pouring alcohol. Just like keeps. Damn. It's a constant sting, a constant pain, and it just keeps on. Like it's not getting any better. It's like you all are making it worse and worse and worse. Like they just did, like yesterday was like killing them all over again. It's like it just put us right back there, where like from the first day. Wow! What happened, what happened yesterday? What happened yesterday? Clearly not justice for you. Um, what does this 10-year sentence mean for you? What it, mean, it, it means nothing. It means nothing. That was just... <laughs> that was nothing. And she... she kind of so the nigga got hit with 10 years? The nigga who body... Nah, there's no way a nigga who did a double homie. There's no way a nigga who did a double homie and one of them was a child... Got only 10. Hell no. Mind you, my mans did do 11 off of, off of body. My mans caught a body, got uh, a man store that did a, uh, came home off 11. You know what I mean? So, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Nah. Let's, we, we got to see what's going on here. They kept trying to remind us that no matter how much time she gave them, it wouldn't bring my son and my granddaughter back. She just kept, no amount of time is going to, you know, you can't speak for us. I think life would have been. Fine. Nah, but 10 is crazy though. He should have got an elbow because a, a girl, little girl was involved. Once you kill a kid, my nigga, I don't care. I don't, all of that, I don't want to see a nigga in jail. I don't want to see no nigga in jail. Oh, F all that, bro. I don't care about that. Elbow. You killed the kid, nigga. A kid. <laughs> but he, he, he's, he's, he's been in there two years already. So he's going to do what? Six or seven years? And get out and get to be with his family? In the street corners of St. Louis? Where music often drowns out the noise of the city. A silence fell over the community as the tale of unthinkable tragedy unfolded. Downtown Dario, a local rapper known much for his controversial lyrics, as his devotion to his young daughter Damaya became the center of a story that would leave the city and the world of hip hop in mourning. This is the story of a father's love, a community's sorrow, and the city's call for justice in the brutal aftermath of a crime that took two lives. One was a seven year old little girl. Who clearly have nothing to do with nothing. But on top of that, right. the family get little nothing to do with nothing. Justice. The person who's allegedly held responsible, one of the two, only get 10 years in prison. Not because he didn't do it, not because he didn't deserve it, simply because the DA office wasn't prepared twice. So before we go over this one, that's prepared, crazy, dog. I'll give you no aim. I just give you the story. So with that, that's being crazy. Said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, sir, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know I give you the angle, the story, all that, man. My opinion, what I think, what I would have did if this was my little niece. How to, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, but how I ran out blicking, stop playing, nigga. Somebody gone. Somebody head top. Couple niggas head top gone, nigga. And I'm doing a time by mine. I don't care about listen by my family. I'm doing a time. Not right to family. This is Javon Nettles and Andre Anderson. Nettles took a plea deal this past Monday morning, October 16, 2023. He pled guilty to second degree. M. Ugly ass boy. 
ugly ass nigga. You see this nigga? You see this nigga line up? Well, his non-existent line up? Like, come on, he got an M coming in. Nigga got like a peasy ass head. You see this nigga, man? 10 years in prison. Anderson's jury trial is scheduled for November. In the heart of St. Louis, a city known for its vibrant music scene, the streets fell silent as a beloved figure, downtown Dario, also known as Darian Rankin Fleming, and his young daughter, Demaya Fleming, were brutally gunned down. The incident occurred two years ago, shortly after downtown Dario had released a controversial diss song. Now, before we talk about that track released two years ago, four years ago, <coughs> he released a track called Raid with over 23,000 views and counting. He was dissing a lot of people. And according to a comment, this the A, Person, Taliban, The Curve, L, and Blender. Be safe out here, my dog. The stepping on the road saying with. Damn, that's how many hoods is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nigga did six hoods in one song. Oh, yeah, niggas on your ass. And according to that comment, he dissed over five hoods, so he had many enemies. He rapped OTO. Not sure what it mean, but check out this video. Now his latest song, Before He Lost His Life, was a song released two years ago with over 62,000 views and counting, titled 1643, that featured three other people. Call it Ray, watch out what I spray. Now nah, I ain't gonna lie, that's gonna call it Ray, watch out what I spray. I ain't gonna lie, I like that. But I don't like you, nigga. You over here. Don't know how to bust your gun off at one at the right person. I don't like that. Only weeks after that diss track, just after 8 p.m. on the last week of January of 2021, police were called to the shoot on the 4,000 block of the Key Avenue. Nigga got the raid on his shirt. I ain't gonna lie, he did the most for the song in the video. You gotta give him that props. But like I said, I don't like him because he did the most, bro. At around 8 p.m. when they arrived. They found a man deceased from a gunshot wound and a young girl who was also struck multiple times in the car. Courtesy of the family members, this picture, those victims, was Darian and Demi. Damn, bro. That's crazy. He looked like a good father, too, man. He looked like he was a good father. Look, that little girl loved him. You could tell, bro. Look how she all aboard, bro. That little girl loved him, man. She loved her dad, bro. It's sick and it's sad, bro, for real. <laughs> Condolences to the family. Dow on a seven year old girl and a man who were killed last night in the Central West End. Police have now identified the little girl as Demia Fleming. They have not identified the man. They don't know how she is related to the man. Uh, the two were found in a parked car on Laclede Avenue last night around 8 o'clock. She's the second child to die from gun violence in the city since the start of the year. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at the number on the screen. 866-371. It will go weeks before someone would get arrested. This made the community fairy. The reward for 40000 had increased for information leading up to an arrest. The mother and the grandmother had ended up speaking up on platform, being strong, and trying to get justice for her son and her granddaughter. Check it out. Child, so some of you guys just watched uh, my, uh, I guess, my radio show that's in Detroit on 910 the Superstation. But I wanted to have a conversation, a something that happened real. Folks, um, this has been very difficult. And, and, and what, I, what I'm trying to do is... Ask my sons, you know, what's your son's name? I gave him his name, his information, and they gave me a business card. A card. Uh, they were like, uh, we're the... Well, this is the card for the detectives that are handling the homicide. And I'm like, okay, so now I'm really getting nervous. They go in and talk to the doctors or whatever. And they come out and say, well, we're going to let you come in and see if this is your granddaughter. <coughs> we only can have two people. <coughs> <coughs> this had to be the saddest moment. Even though she already knew what a mother knew. <coughs> like, bro, this had to be the saddest moment, bro, when you got to go in there and really identify your granddaughter. This little... Girl, bro. So my granddaughter's mom was hysterical. She was like, I, I can't go in there if it's her. I just, I cannot go in there. And so I said, I can. <laughs> I'll go in. And me and the other grandmother, we held hands. Uh, the doctors asked us to come in this little room first. And they said, well, 
Well, unless you see a little girl, uh, you can't touch her. You can't take her picture. You can't do anything. And they said, well, her heart stopped. Uh, we tried to revive her. We did CPR. We did everything we could, but it just didn't work. So I'm like, okay. And I walked down this hall and I looked to the left and I see my granddaughter laying in the bed covered up with a sheet just from the, you know, from the neck down. And I, I just looked and I saw. Nah, this is heartbreaking, bro. This is heartbreaking for real, like. Don't get me wrong. I love doing these stories, bro, but I hate these type of stories, bro. I hate this part, bro. But we got to do them because this reality, bro. We got to know what's going on around us, bro. If you like these reality stories, bro, like I know they hurt child like they hurt me, bro. But if you like the fact that we based in reality and we keep it all real, we doing real stories of stuff that's really going on, man. Like, come on, bro. Then you on you with me, bro. That's how I feel about it. We got to get into the real, bro, because this is happening. This could be somebody you love. You know what I'm saying? God forbid, though. And my heart stopped. Her grandma freaked out. She screamed and she fell on the floor. She kept trying to get to her. And I just looked and I just looked because I wanted to see her, you know, see her face. Her eyes were open, open and her lips were turning purple. And I just kept, I kept rubbing her leg and I said, Granny, it's her. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm here. I'm like, come on, wake up. I'm like, come on, I'm here to get you. Her other grandmother ran off. And uh, I looked and I, I just, I walked out, you know, and I went outside and her mom, my daughter, they're screaming. And I'm like, it's her. Everybody's screaming. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't process it. I'm just like shaking. I'm like, oh my God, if this is her. Then that's my son. And I'm like, I need to, I need to see my son. I'm like, where I need to identify my son. And they're like, uh, due to COVID, no one, you can't identify with identify him through. Bro. <laughs> that's a double hurt to the family, bro. Of course, you super hurt that y'all lost this little girl, your granddaughter. But now your son. Your son too. That's a double heartbreak, bro. I really feel for this family. My condolences, man. DNA or forensic or, you know, fingerprints and stuff. So I I called my mom was the first person I called and I told her and then my phone just was blowing up and I'm like, how do people know what's going on? And I don't know. We haven't even confirmed anything and people are already calling my phone. And, and, and I was just standing there trying to process Word travels fast in the hood. That night, that night, before niggas stop being able to use the phones at, in the jails, niggas will know what's happening on the street. No cap, bro. The word in the hood travel fast, nigga. That same night that a nigga died, right in the hood, that same day before, niggas got cell phone, bur niggas got burner phones and all that in jail anyway, but that same day before the phones get cut off, nigga. Somebody in jail gonna know, and the word gonna spread through the jail. Wild, fit, wild, quick about who passed away in the hood. That's how fa the word spreads fast, my nigga. I'm telling you. Thing and you know they're at the, the security guards. They're like, okay, we need you out to leave. We need you to move. You know, and I'm like, what's the process? I'm like, what? What am I supposed? You know, what am I supposed to do? I can't just. I'm supposed to leave my granddaughter here and just go. And I'm like, it was nobody. I had nobody to talk to. I just pulled my car out of King's Highway and I sat out there till like 12 or something. Just, I'm like, I can't believe it. Like, like that, I just couldn't believe, you know, that it was them. And I actually had, I just, I haven't even physically seen my son yet. I just uh, had them, their bodies picked up. Um, um, uh, maybe that was Thursday. Yeah, and bro, she going through so much. You can see it in her, bro. She going through so much right now, bro. Amen. That, uh, like the next day, you know, to sit down and talk about arrangements and I begged him. All right, let's figure out how they ended up catching dude who did it. Only thing I want to do in my life. It wasn't accidental. It wasn't, this was purposely done to them. Uh, Folks, 
I, I'm telling you, I'm tired of seeing these these, these mother and these families <laughs> grieving. Oh, bullshit. I'm speaking up. I'm speaking out on behalf of her son and her granddaughter. Now, in no way, shape, or form, this takes away from the story, especially in pertaining to the seven-year-old girl. But I have to provide full context as a platform. Right. A I want to know why was they beefing? Why did this beef get so real that homie felt like he had to take out son and his daughter? Like, he had to get him right now. Yeah, I, yeah he with his little girl, but I got to get him now. Like, why did you feel like you had to get him now? Scene revealed not only the bodies of the father and daughter duo, but also the rapper had a firearm in his car. And authorities communicate that he had a rap sheet, including warrants of unlawful use of a weapon, resisting arrest, and possession of a weapon. Now, the but having a firearm in your car don't mean nothing. It's a dangerous world out here. It's dangerous in these streets. I ain't even going to lie to you. The times when I got my niece or I got any little kids with me or I got my mom's, I ain't going to lie. Fire on me. Yeah, because I'm... I'm, what is it? I'm vulnerable right now. I'm vulnerable right now. I'm not going to be vulnerable and not have that fire on me. I got my little, I got little, little ones with me. Nigga, I got that fire on me, of course. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like don't, that don't mean, that don't make, that don't mean nothing. But if he had a rap sheet and these was his ops and I get, I believe that that's what it is, what it really was. His ops ran down on him at the only opportunity that they had. They caught him slipping while he was with a little girl and they just did it anyway. Now, I, I don't agree with it, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened though. First arrest didn't come till four months later. Police announced the first arrest in the case in April of 2022. Javon Javante Nettles was 28 years old when he was first arrested. Charged with two counts of first degree M and two counts of armed criminal action. Court documents released after the charges were filed indicate that Nettles' fingerprints was found on a rear passenger door of Rankin's Clemens car. The father-daughter duo had been shot through open passenger side door of the car, according to investigators. Ballistic evidence... Wow, bro. These niggas ran down, opened the car door, peeped that it was a little girl and the nigga they trying to get, and still did it. They opened the car door. They, he just said they found the fingerprints of homie that did the killing on the door. He opened up the door, and the reports show that the, the they opened the door and didn't fire, bro. So they probably was hitting already hitting, but they ran up to make sure the job was done and kept hitting, bro, like. Nasty work, gang. In the scene revealed the father and daughter were shot with two different firearms. And it two different firearms. The father and daughter were shot with two different firearms. So possibly one nigga bodied the, the pops and one nigga bodied the little girl. Or the same nigga had two pistols on him. Because that's possible. I ain't gonna lie. It definitely be times where they got two pistols on him. Until the indictment, Nettles was looking for Flemings all night. When the authorities looked through Flemings' cell phone, they found out that Nettles had been in contact with Flemings right before the imp, and they planned to meet up that night. He kept messaging him, trying to... Oh, yeah, it's premeditated. It's premeditated. Him, they got homie who did the body and somebody else talking about it, texting about it, like, yeah, we're going to get that nigga? Yeah, it's premeditated. More years. I don't know how these niggas only got 10. A month later, Andre Anderson will be arrested Ugly nigga. for his role as the second shooter. And a light vigil tonight for a seven-year-old girl who was shot and killed on the Central West End. Bruh, she's so precious, bruh, man. So you could tell she was just a sweet, fun little kid, bro. That's sad, man. And the family is pleading for justice. You didn't have to do that to her, what you did to her, you did it to her, she just a baby said. Shaking with emotion, Selena Johns cannot fathom why someone would murder her seven-year-old niece, Demaya Fleming. This is a this child. Is crazy, like, bro. innocent. She never did nothing to nobody. Right, innocent. A gunman opened fire on Demaya and her father, Darian Rankin Fleming, as they sat inside his car Sunday night. Sources tell Five on Your Side's Christine Byers that police found cash and a gun inside Rankin Fleming's car. He also had warrants for unlawful use of a weapon and resisting arrest. But Johns wants nothing to do with those on social media blaming Demaya's father. So he's not the reason. The guy who pulled the trigger is the reason why the is dead. Johns said the family called Demaya Ola, short for old soul, because she would say and notice things most kids her age didn't. She spent her last weekend... Bro, that's just so sad, bro. This little girl is so adorable, man. That is so sad, bro. Like, she is my niece age, bro. Earth baking cakes with her grandmother with plans to sell them for five dollars each to raise money for family members they don't care who they care your grandma your sister your brother your uncle your dog anybody 
They don't care. John said Demaya's parents were no longer together, but the two co-parented. And now the only thing getting them through this is prayer. My message is like, whoever it is, I hope you have a heart to turn yourself in, you know, but if not, God will bring justice. When a family is home, they can finally get some form of closure for justice. Nevis was set to go to trial back in 2022, the days before the- Bro, no cap, bro. He looked like a child, capital Emmer. He looked like an Emmer. Uh, he looked like he would do some wild. He just looked like it, bro. I hate to say it, bro, but you see that face, bro. Peasy ass head, man. He like he liable to do anything, bro, for real. They, the charges were dismissed and refiled because prosecutors weren't ready. As she has lips on the boy. Moved the trial to April 2023, and yet again they weren't ready to move forward. Nettles took a plea deal Monday, October 16, 2023. That morning, he pled guilty to second degree M and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Anderson's jury trial is scheduled for November, but this made the victim's mother furious. She spoke to the local news less than 48 hours ago. Check it out. And Ms. Reed, can you can just look right at me um, with the questions. First, I want to start off, um, you know, what is this weight like for you um, as a mother, as a grandmother, feeling this pain? I mean, it's a, it's, it's like, it's a, it's heavy. It's very heavy. Um. Bro, we're going to end this one here, bro. This video is sad, bro. We already know son got booked. He got 10 years. I don't think they're going to get more detailed into like... Yeah, they're not going to get more detailed into... He just got 10 years, bro. Son got hit with 10 because the, they, he said the prosecution wasn't ready. That's crazy, bro. I ain't going to lie. 10 for a double homie is wild. But anyway, Jimmy Gang, my boys, I'm gone. I'm off this nasty. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Well, you know what I'm saying? I hope it was informative for you. It was informative for me, my nigga. You got to have it on you because they, 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 they capping everybody out here. Anybody getting it, bro. I ain't going to lie. I would never, I would never ever hurt no child, bro. Nigga like me, I just can't. Now, I always say if a female set me up, if a female set me up, like if a female in my crib and then dropped the low on me to get me set up and, and, and niggas run in trying to get me, I'm popping her first. That's a fact. I'm popping her first. Because you set it up. You wanted me to die. But a child, they got, they innocent. They have no way to do nothing wrong, bro. You, it's no, never no reason to hurt no kid, bro. And it's never no reason to hurt no woman. Like I said, unless you try to set you up for death or something like that. Or if she try to kill you herself. Jimmy Gang, I'm gone. I'll see you in the next one, my boys. Stay safe. Stay dangerous. Keep one in the head, man. It's people like this out here that you got to be aware of, man. I'm gone.